For a lot of families, getting help with an aging parent is a big transition. You want to find the right person with patience and compassion. Lindsay Thee shows us one Arlington woman who spends her retirement caring for others. Or she's done the seventh and she all will be done too, so that's good. Karen Keenan is one of the most popular caregivers with Fremont's Home Instead. It's not just because she puts in a lot of time with the patients, bonding and making friends. It's where she's come from that's brought her here. That'll be basically what we do for we'll probably cook out. Karen retired after working 20 years at the Conagra Mill in Fremont. Life took a turn. Her husband Jim got cancer. It was very difficult. I mean, uh, and well, he had head and neck cancer and he had major, major surgery. And we were at the med center for over two months down there. Um, they removed part of his jaw, his tongue, and he li lived on a feeding tube for five years. We readjusted and uh, it, was, it was an experience. You want one of these or you want one of these? Both. And the little bit of time you spend with Karen, you learn this is how she is. There's no such thing as feeling sorry for yourself. You just readjust. So after her husband passed, she started a new career. To date, she's logged more than 15,000 hours caring for dementia and hospice patients. Karen epitomizes compassion. She's um, giving constantly. If only I could be just a little bit like Karen. Um, I want her to take care of me <laughs> um, when I need help. But I didn't know I had a story. <laughs> You know, I said, this is, you know, something that I'm, I love to do, and if I didn't love to do it, I wouldn't be doing it. Sometimes life makes you readjust, but if you're Karen Keenan, that's an experience, one that shapes your life and the lives of those around you. It fulfills my life. I mean, it makes, makes me feel good, and some days I'm tired, but, you know, it's, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Lindsay Thies, up front at 4. Karen also volunteers at her church and about a half dozen organizations in Arlington and Fremont. She says she's most proud of her three grandkids.